we are still continuing with windows 365 master class in the episode 4 we are going to look into the first option of the architectural type of windows 365 in this option we are going to connect to azure active directory join and use microsoft hosted network for the network connection this is by far the simplest method and the most recommended approach so without wasting any more time let's get into it this architectural type what we are going to look today is the most simple and reliable and most scalable cloud pc architecture you can choose when you choose this offering this is going to make your cloud pc deployment the saas friendliest approach possible where in microsoft manages lot of things pretty much everything for you so i am on my microsoft intune portal you can access this portal by going into endpoint.microsoft.com because we are starting from scratch i'm going to create a new user for this configuration or i'm going to um, first create let's create a group for this particular configuration go to groups and click on create a new group group type i'm going to retain security give a name for the group i'm going to name this group windows 365 azure ad join plus microsoft hosted network architectural user group i'm going to give a description to the group so this clearly says that windows 365 option 1 azure ad plus microsoft hosted network architecture type you don't need to um, enable this option to add azure ad roles membership type i'm going to leave it assigned now we will look into the dynamic groups later and click on create so we have the group created now let's go to user and pick a user to start with the process so i'm going to pick this user maki let's see if i assigned a license for this user go to licenses tab click on assignments and i don't have windows 365 license assigned for this user so i'm going to pick this user select a license i'm going to assign a 4 vcpu 16 gb ram 128 gb hard disk license for this user and click on save now we have license assigned for this user the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to groups within this user and i'm going to add this user to the group we created just before so i'm going to type the group w365 hit enter the group which we created is called windows 365 azure ad join plus microsoft hosted network architectural user group and select add the user to this group let's quickly refresh it for some reason it is not showing me oh yeah it populated so now this user is part of this windows 365 architectural type group you go to members you can see that the user is part of it now let's go back into the windows 365 provisioning policies go to devices on the right hand side under device onboarding click on cloud pc creation and because this is the simplest method you don't have to worry about the azure network connection or custom images all you have to do is create a provisioning policy for this method so click on provisioning policy i do have a few provisioning policies available you don't have to worry about it just ignore it we are going to create a brand new provisioning policy click on create a new provisioning policy give a name i'm going to give a name called windows 365 option 1 azure ad plus microsoft hosted network architecture provisioning policy again quite mouthful so you don't have to name it like this just for sake of completion and because i'm going to do two more other episodes on different architecture this seems to be the right approach and give a description provide a description which clearly states that this is going to use the option 1 under license type pick enterprise license that is what we have assigned we will look into front line later under join type again this because this is a simplest method for you as an admin to start all you have to do is select azure ad join and under network we are going to not look into any other option click on microsoft hosted network so these are the two decisions you are going to make azure ad join and microsoft hosted network under geography this is where you would pick a region and geography which is closest to the user So let's assume you are assigning this license to a user based in Germany you would pick Germany because you don't want high latency for the user to access the cloud pc since i am going to use it in new zealand i'm going to pick australia because that is the closest region available for me at the moment pick a region um, don't worry about the single sign on we will talk about that later you selected the join type network and where you want your cloud pcs to be joined and click next and the image type again i by simple method is to go and pick a gallery image 
calorie image are maintained and managed by Microsoft you will have this operating system available which is optimized for your cloud PC pick the right option either Windows 10 or 11 one with apps installed one without apps installed so I'm going to pick Windows 11 Enterprise with app installed version is 22h2 which is the latest one which is fully patched fully secure managed by Microsoft select that if you do want you have custom image option as well I created a separate episode on that if you want to understand how to attach that go and watch that video so right now I'm going to retain the gallery image click next and the configuration we're going to leave these things default we will create different video on how to rename the cloud PC, how to uh, deploy patches, things like that. Right now, just leave it default. Click next. Under assignments, this is where we are going to pick the group we just created earlier. So search for W365. The user group we select created is Windows 365 AAD with Microsoft Hosted Network user group. So select that. So now we have a user there and click next, create it. So that's how simple it is to actually set up everything required for your cloud PC deployment. So whatever you have seen today on this particular video is all you have to do within your organization to deploy like one or hundred or thousands of cloud PCs. All you have to do is to add more users. You simply go to the groups and search for the user group we used so add more and more users into this particular group as long as you add these users into the group they will immediately get their cloud pc that's how simple it is because everything required for the cloud pc to stand up and be ready for the user is already been done in the provisioning policy that's how simple it is now if i go back to devices under device onboarding click on cloud pc creation um, you can see that i already have three cloud pcs provisioned for me if I go into all cloud PCs, you would slowly see that there is a new cloud PC getting ready for the user. So you can see that there is one cloud PC which is under provisioning. There is no name assigned, but you can see that the provisioning policy is the one which we just created. The option one, Azure AD Joint Plus Microsoft Hosted Network provisioning policy. If you go the right hand side, you can see that the image is Windows Enterprise. Um, there is no Azure network connection because we are not using that under PC type. You can see that we chose 4B CPU, 16 GB RAM. The status is under provisioning. The user we assigned is Maki. And this is when I last modified. So we just have to wait for 10, 15 minutes for everything to get ready. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'll get back to you once this has been done. Let's do one more refresh. Go to all cloud PCs. Yep, you can see that the cloud PC for the user, Mackie, is been provisioned successfully. So it took me about like 25 to 30 minutes for this cloud PC to get provisioned for the first time. So now that the PC has been provisioned, all the user have to do is go and start using it. So let's go to a user. As a user, they have to go to windows365.microsoft.com. Hit enter, provide the username, provide the password and click on sign in. And as a user, this user is trying to log in to their cloud PC for the first time. So the first time login will take a few seconds extra because it is provisioning the cloud PC for the user. So as a user, all you have to do is click on open in a browser. You can see that this user is assigned with 4V CPU, 16 GB RAM, 128 GB hard disk cloud PC. So this is the cloud PC we assigned. If you want to download any app, I've created a separate video on how to do that. So download a respective app on the platform which you are using and then you can access it via that. I prefer browser because it's quite simple and straightforward. And click on sign in and provide the password again and sign in. And now it is logging in as this user to their cloud PC for the first time. All right, so the user is logged in for the first time into this cloud PC. And from this point onwards, they can use this cloud PC as the regular PC. So if I go back to the settings, click on about, you can see that this device is cloud PC. It has the 16 GB RAM 4B CPU. The operating system is Windows 11 Enterprise 22H2. And to check the speed, I'm gonna to go to a speed test website and just run the speed test to check 
how much speed or bandwidth you are getting within this cloud pc last time when i checked it was like 1.5 now it's like even even more oh my god it's closer to 3 gb upload speed sorry download speed right now this is mind boggling so you get 3 gb download speed and 1.8 gb upload speed within your cloud pc this is insane all right, so that's the end of the first architectural type demonstration. So in this, just to quickly recap, what we have gone through is, so this is the first architectural option we used Azure AD join for joining this device and Microsoft hosted network for the network. In the next episode, we will look into the second architectural option. I will see you on the next one. Take care.